All right, guys, welcome back to On The Grid. And today what I want to do is actually a flight tour over the ring. And I figured that would be kind of something cool to do with Microsoft Flight Simulator so that you can pretty much go anywhere in the world. And it's uh, really not quite difficult to find these locations. All you have to do is go to Google Maps, copy the uh, longitude latitude and paste it into this search bar. You'll see at the bottom where it says custom you can, uh, it'll bring you directly to there and you can set yourself there as the departure. So what I want to do is just kind of um, go to the ring and we'll just do a flyover. And I like this Icon A5 because it's a, it's a plane that I find uh, really good for doing these kind of, uh, you know, sightseeing uh, type of uh, trips or flights. So we'll just go to Nürburgring and uh, take a tour around the whole track. All right, so here we are over the ring. And uh, you can see this, I mean, the Icon A5 is a great because you can land it on water. Uh, you can, it's a really, really easy plane to fly because it re resembles pretty much a car. We're going to take a, a nice tour over the ring. We'll talk just a bit about it, some of the, the corners and some of the classic uh, layouts here that we have um, on the ring. So we're going to start by uh, making a flyover right over the start finish line. And from here, you'll get a good view of uh, the sprint track and the mullen back. We'll go right down into the Yokohama Strait and eventually making our way into the Dunlop Curve. And as we turn, we see the Schumacher Strait going all the way up here. And that, I've figured out to take that Schumacher Strait, if you get right up on that right side curve, you can get a really nice line all the way through there. That's a nice view of the GP track. But uh, then we go into Adven, uh, which is up here, and then it'll make our way. You can see the Grand Prix track, or you can see the Nürburgring track, actually, over to the left. So I'll take a nice swoop right over here, and we'll make our way on to Norschleife. And, uh, you know, this is the, the start of the, the full Norschleife layout, plus the GP track. All right, so here you'll see the... Uh, Hudson back sequence which gives you your first taste of basically what the ring is going to throw at you and I absolutely love this section of the track um, Hudson back actually gets its name there's a stream that runs like all along the side of this section and that's where they get the name Hudson back up here you see the top is flood plats which is named after the airfield and it's your real first flat out section of the track with a slight bend uh, up on the left. This area of the track will definitely test you and it will make you hesitate to, to stay flat out, but you got to just keep it down and, and carry that momentum all the way through that corner. So you see here coming right up at the top uh, is the Ehrenberg corner and uh, with the village right off to the side. But uh, this begins, it's a really sharp left or really sharp right, but then it begins your really long downhill section where you get so much speed and it's a perfect opportunity to overtake, especially if you get the edge out of that corner. But then when you're going flat out, you get right up to the Adenauer Forest and you completely have to slow right down going into this left-right um, sequence of turns and back out onto a short straight. And then here we see Kalenhard Corner. The name was called Colin Hard. I researched this and it was actually because it was Colin Hard is means cold and bare because there really wasn't much else here before the track was constructed. I would like to know what the name of that city or that little village is off to the side there though. And we work our way into uh, two pretty much almost 90 degree turns. And this one up here, this was actually intended to be the start finish line. And then you're out on your way from Bergwerk and this is where you build up your massive speed and you're going flat out through a really nice long stretch of, uh, of track. And that's what's great about Nürburgring or Norschleife in general is that you get these really technical areas, but then you also get these really nice flat out high speed, uh, high speed sections of the track, which you can just let it go, open it up. And now we're getting up to the classic section of the track. Probably one of the most well known is uh, just before the carousel, you get Stausteck. And this actually used to be uh, called the steep section where cars would almost flip over because it was like a 25 or something like that degree incline. And then, of course, into the classic carousel, the banked carousel, uh, which was named after the famous driver uh, Rudolf Caracciola, I think his name was. Uh, 
driver back in the 1900s, early 1900s. Really amazing part of the track. If you get hooked up into that bowl, I mean, it's just nothing better. Nothing feels better, honestly, uh, on this track. I mean, they could just never run Formula One on these again, but I mean, it, it is such an amazing track. You know, the fact that we have that in, you know, so many sim racing games is, uh, is amazing. And we can experience that with all different types of cars. And probably another one of my favorite uh, areas of the circuit is Flans Garden, which you, you can just literally feel your car come off the lift right there at the end of the corner, or at the end of the, that hill there. Uh, probably one of my favorite uh, areas of the track as well, alongside a carousel. And here is Galgenkopf, where they actually used to have public executions. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to, to know some of that history uh, of this track. But this is uh, leading right up before you go on to the final straight. And here, as you say, pedal to the metal. Go flat out. Hit your top end of your car. And I mean, amazing. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is called Dottinger. That's the village just to off to the side. A lot of these corners are named after the villages. Right here off to the right, you'll see the um, areas where you go if you're going to take the ring taxi or the start of the ring taxi. But yeah, that's, uh, that's funny. You can kind of see a lot of things parked along the side. And then you make your way all the way down this hill. What's that say? Sauberland. Saverland. Yeah, and then we work our way back up onto the GP circuit. Unless if you're running just Norse Life, you would turn off to the right there and you wouldn't go back out onto the GP circuit. And I'll just stall my plane here for fun. Do a little flyover. Uh, yeah, why not? Have some fun. Don't want to crash though. <laughs> you can see the textures are not really amazing. I don't think those are meant to be flying this low and seeing all this, but I actually enjoy that. I'm going to do more of these, I think. So that was a quick uh, tour of Norschleife and the GP track. Hope you guys liked it. I'll uh, probably do another one again. I'll find another track and do a flyover. This is the first one, so it's kind of, don't hate on me. I'm just trying to get used to you know, talking through these things without actually uh, racing it. I hope you liked the video. I'll catch you guys again soon. All right, take care.